In Chromophone 3, a sound is a preset for the parameters of the entire synthesizer. Sounds are created by combining layers, each corresponding to a different instance of the Chromophone 3 synthesis engine. There's layer B, and there's layer A comprising this sound. They're stored in packs, which basically act as folders, and the name of the sound currently loaded is displayed at the top of the interface along with the name of the corresponding sound pack and its category. Let's modify this one. The compare button located at the upper right becomes active as soon as the sound is modified. So we can quickly AB it with the original unmodified version. Sounds are saved by clicking on the save or save as buttons. Notice that the save button is never active when browsing AAS factory sounds since these are read only and cannot be modified. So I'm gonna save as this modified version of the sound. Here we can give it a new name. And we can locate it in which pack we want to save it to. We can create a new user pack or use an existing user pack. And I've already got one created on my system. However, it's easy enough just to create a new one there. We can then apply metadata and labels for the category, tone quality, and the creator. And any notes we might have. Notice the new name at the top, as well as the new location. Sounds and sound packs are managed using the sound browser that we get to on the browser tab. Sounds can be browsed by pack, sound name, category, or creator by clicking on the tabs located at the upper left section here. The entire library, including sounds from AAS and user packs, can be browsed by clicking on the Sounds tab. Sounds can then be organized by name, category, sound quality, creator, pack, or the date of creation. A new user pack is created by using the create pack command in the menu that we get to from this ellipses. Here's the one I've already created, but I can manually create one here. In addition to being able to create it when I'm saving a sound. From the ellipses, we can also show the packs folder in either Windows Explorer or the Finder on the Mac OS, and we can see it's located in the user folder, library, application support, applied acoustic systems, chromophone 3, packs, and here are the two new packs that I have. We can select a sound in the user pack, and we can use this ellipses icon to rename it duplicate it, delete it, or again, show the packs folder in either Explorer or the Finder. A list of commands which can be applied to a selected sound appears by clicking on the ellipses icon at the right of the sound name. For example, I can add it to another pack, or I can copy paste, select all, move to trash, mark it as a favorite, or show the sound details. Now, if we're gonna copy it, I can then select a destination pack, right click and choose paste. A sound can also be moved to another pack by selecting it and then dragging and dropping it onto the image of a destination pack. I can drag this into my user pack and it's added there. Now this will delete it from the original user pack, however, AAS packs cannot be edited, so dragging and dropping a sound like I just did from these packs to a user pack is the same as a copy command. Sounds can be deleted from a user pack by using the move to trash command. 
This deletes the sound from the pack, but creates a safety copy in the trash pack that appears at the bottom here. So I can click there and safely bring it back if I want to. If you want to share sounds, simply create a new pack and copy the sounds that you want into it and then share the corresponding pack file from the Finder or Explorer. Here I've got a factory preset called up and we have two layers. Now we have an ellipses next to each layer with layer menu options. I'm gonna change layer A in this sound. Let's solo it by muting the other. We can customize it. And bring back in layer B. Now I can of course save the preset, compare it. But what I can do also is save my customized layer setting from this menu. I can go save and give it a name. And now if I ever want to recall it for use either here or in another preset or sound that I'm building, I can use the load menu and at the bottom, we'll see some user layers that have been created and saved. There's another one from a previous session. I can go show files and we'll see that they're stored in the layer pack in the usual location. User folder, library, application support, applied acoustic systems, chromophone three, and then within these packs. And you'll notice that we have little ellipses next to each of the controls here. For example, on the effects tab, I can load or save entire racks. And here there are no user ones saved as of yet, but I can save this setup if I want. And now it'll be available in the load menu. We have these available next to each of the individual effects. So we can use our own customized settings that we can save and recall for future use. Same in the synth parameters. Wherever we see these ellipses, we can save and load custom settings to reuse. And you'll find these in various areas of the interface where all of these sound shaping modules are present. <laughs>